prayer than this world can ever imagine. And we are praying for the Salter family, the Fletcher family, Minister Donnie Maxwell and family. And we are praying for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Our music department would, amen, will give us our prayer song. And then the next speaking voice you will hear will be that of our first lady, amen, taking us to the throne of grace in Jesus' name. Savior, we want to tell you that we love you today. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you and we thank you. Hallelujah. For all of your blessings, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We bring ourselves and we bring a people, Lord. Hallelujah. Into your presence right now, Lord. At the foot of the cross, God. Where we can find help, Lord. Where we can find strength, Lord. Where we can find whatever we need, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, because we know that you're in on time, God. Oh, Jesus Christ, we ask that you will walk the airways, Lord. We ask you, oh God, to look upon those, oh God, that are destitute, Jesus. Look upon those that are hungry, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, those that are sick and shut in, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, stretch out your hands, Lord. Those that are behind the prison walls. Hallelujah. We ask you, oh God, to remember them right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to send your word on this day, Lord. Fill our hearts, our souls, and our minds, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your people, Lord. Encourage your people, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you will remember the leadership of our nations. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask you, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, you heard every name that has been called, and there's so many more. Hallelujah. God, you know where they are. You know who they are. And you know what their needs are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the backslider right now, Lord. Bring them back home. Hallelujah. Into the ark of safety, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you right now, Lord. We thank you right now, Lord. Just have your way in our lives, Lord. And we won't fail to give you praise. We won't fail to give you glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Hallelujah. And for that which you are going to do, we give you praise. We glorify your name. And we tell you thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Glory to God, our music department will come and bless us again in, in song.
And then the next speaking voice you will hear will be that of our pastor, Apostle Raymond J. Keith Jr. Let's greet them in that order by saying, Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We honor the Lord uh, for his presence. Uh, and I have no doubt. Praise God. He always brings us out. <laughs> because the God that we serve is great. Amen. And it um, gives me wonder how as great a God that we serve, Jesus. people are in and out, up and down. Yeah. Praise God. And seemingly only serious when they need him. Praise God. Other times we seem to be uh, not even mindful that he's there. Praise God. And we preachers are pushing um, immersion and being just caught up in every phase of your life with the God that you serve. And I think some folk are saying that's too much well. until you get in trouble. <laughs> praise God. And not only is that too much, praise God, but you want even more. Jesus. Praise God. Because we are, I don't know that we mean to be, but we're selfish. Yes, sir. Amen. We only kind of think about what's in it for me when he's asking us to love him and serve him. Glory to God. Praise God in the beauty of holiness amen and I bless God because holiness is beautiful amen. takes us a while to get there well. praise God because we are always thinking about what's in it for us but when you've tried everything and done everything and used everything Praise God, you come to a place where you see how good God is. Praise God. Has he been good to you? Praise God. Hallelujah. Just just tell a neighbor, just tell him he's been so good to me. Hallelujah. Glory. He has been so good. Glory to God. And I bless him for it. I, I bless him for it. I bless him for it. Amen. And it's good to be home. Praise God to be among those that are sanctified. Amen. And you know, that word is a special word because it means that we are set aside for a specific use. Glory to God. And I bless God that he loves me and honors me enough. Praise God that I'm one of his specials. Amen. And every time I think about it, Amen. I give him praise. Glory to God because he didn't have to do that. Amen. He could have left me in the crowd. But he thought that I was worth saving. He thought that I was worth being set aside for his use. 
and for his glory. Praise God. I, I'd like you to help me. I'm, I'm planning, don't know that the Lord won't crack the sky between now and next week, but amen, I'm, I'm planning and I would like for us to make next Sunday a high attendance day. <laughs> I know there are probably other things that Amen. Folk who are sophisticated do. Praise God. But I was thinking we might just call folk on the phone and knock on folks' doors and, amen, just check on them and let them know we're still thinking about you. Yeah. Sorry if you're not thinking about us. Right, right. Praise God. But we sure would love to have you come to worship amen. on Sunday. Praise God. Amen. Think we can do that? Amen. High attendance Sunday. Right. Praise God. Where we got to add more chairs. Yeah. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. All right. All right. Praise God. I know it sounds like work. But because we love the Lord, he's worth it. Glory to God. How you know? Because he's still healing. He's still blessing. He's still delivering. He's still making ways. Yes, sir. He's still forgiving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. When he didn't have to. But I bless him. Amen. That he loves me enough. Praise God to see me through the veil of his blood. Glory to God. And whenever he uh, looks at me through the blood, all he sees is a sanctified son. <laughs> Glory to God. And I bless him for it. I want to take you to um, the book of Exodus. I'd like to take you to the uh, I want to say the sixth chapter. Praise God, but I know it's the eleventh chapter. Take you to the eleventh chapter, book of Exodus. And, um, amen, the last three verses. Exodus 11. Praise God. I think it's 7, 8, and 9. 8, 9, and 10. And all thy servants shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me uh -huh. saying get thee out and all the people that follow thee and after that I will go out and he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger and the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh. And the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. So that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his hands. I want to talk from the subject because it is uh, communion. I want to talk from the subject the blood still works. 
Um, but I, I'd like you to really give some serious thought as to how the blood works. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. I think we think and this is just me, I'm not knocking you. I think we think that the blood just maybe gives us some finance or gives us some healing. And I think sometimes that's how we see God. But I'd like you to look at some of what the Lord does for his people. Right. Seems like um, Moses was upset with Pharaoh. Not just because Pharaoh was keeping the children of Israel in captivity. But Moses was upset with Pharaoh because he thought Pharaoh just can't be seeing the work that God is doing. Moses, I think, thought if Pharaoh could just open his eyes and see what God is doing, he would let the children of Israel go. He's in Pharaoh's presence. He's talking to Pharaoh. He's telling Pharaoh, let my people go. And if you don't, these plagues are going to keep on happening. And he, I don't know, maybe recognizes that Pharaoh is not getting it. All right. So he gets angry and storms out. <laughs> How many times have we gotten angry, stormed out because we didn't think Somebody understood what we were talking about. What we felt like God was going to do. They couldn't see it. Take this instant for that time and stop getting so angry. God is now speaking to his servant, Moses. <laughs> this is not, I'm, I'm adding to what I think the Lord was saying because I think this is what God was actually saying, although he didn't use those words recorded. I think he was saying to Moses, Moses, calm down. Pharaoh is not going to listen to you. Right. He is not going to let the children of Israel go. But I need you to understand that's actually a part of the plan. <laughs> so, so don't get all out of sorts. Praise God. Trust me. Thank you. And let this thing work out. Because as it works out, <laughs> God says he's not going to hearken to you that my wonders may multiply in the land of Egypt. In other words, the Egyptians that don't know me are going to see my power because 
of Pharaoh's ignorance and arrogance. Praise God. And, and, and one of the things that it seems like sometimes saints get caught up in is arrogance. Praise God. We don't appreciate the working of God that he would use us in his work. Praise God. We kind of think, I think, that you know, God just has to do it because it's me. Well, come on. Praise God. But you need to know he don't need you. I'm going to say that one again. He, 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 he don't need us. Praise God. And he just blesses us when he uses us. Because he loves us. Praise God. But he doesn't have to. Amen. He could work around us. Praise God. He could wipe us out and still do what he plans on doing. Praise God. But that he would allow us to be in his plan or to make us bless him. Praise God. Amen. And um, uh, I, I, I need you to try to, amen, think about this and get this down in your spirit. Praise God. The plan is working yes, sir. Yes, sir. even while it looks to you yeah. that is not. Yeah. Praise God. I mean, the plan has already kicked in yeah. before you even understand that there is a plan. Yeah. Praise God. He's working it. Praise God. And you, he works into it. <laughs> what a mighty God. What a mighty God. Praise God. And we ought to bless him for that. Praise God. That he loves us enough to work us into his plan. Praise God. So he's dealing with his servant because he needs to have his servant with the right mind. Praise God because the plan is going to work no matter what mind you in. Praise God. But you are blessed when you are in the right mind because you are then capable of accepting and understanding that this was the plan of God. Praise God. And not just right now. He didn't just dream this up. But before there was a when or a where. <laughs> Glory to God. Before there was a then or there. Praise God. That, that plan was at work. Glory to God. And, and, and it is amazing that the enemy can be defeated so many times and still think that he can win. Praise God. And here we are winning so many times and not sure. Come on, that we're going to win. Yes, sir. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, sir. Amen. We got to, we got to, we got to get our minds right. Come on. Amen. Praise God. So God is talking to his servant. Mm -hmm. And I need you to examine. Praise God. As we go to 12 and 1, the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. And I, praise God, it shall be the first month of the year to you. Do you understand what God did right there? Praise God. Right. Moses, you don't understand the plan. I'm still going to work the plan. Right, sir. But for you, it's a brand new beginning. Right. 
So I'm wiping out all your misunderstandings and doubts. Because this is a fresh start. Y'all ain't going to help me. Glory to God. And, and sometimes we don't see it. That he loves us enough to put us in a blessed place. Praise God. Even though we doubted his plan. <laughs> Glory to God. Here's what I want you to do, Moses. I want you to start talking to the congregation of Israel. And I want you to start laying out the plan. The 10th day of the month, praise God, they shall take unto them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for the house. Praise God. God is already planning for sacrifice. Yes. Glory to God because he knows what he's going to do to the enemy. And he knows where the sacrifice will put you in his plan. Glory to God because a man, truth be told, and we don't like to acknowledge it, but sometimes even in our zeal to serve him, we make mistakes. Yes. Yes. Praise God. And in those mistakes, the Lord doesn't want that to be in his presence. So sacrifice and offering is to wipe out those things that would be hindrances. Praise God. Those sins that does so easily beset us, they are to wipe that out. Praise God. And so the enemy fights us in a vicious way. Praise God. In the thought in the mindset of sacrifice. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. We have more trouble in the way of giving. Well, Praise God. Than we do in the way of living. Because, praise God, the mindset of sacrifice moves you from the devil's camp into the Lord's camp. You are not going to find anywhere where the devil thought you were worthy enough to sacrifice for you. Nowhere. But God <laughs> thought we were worthy. Praise God. To be saved. So he committed the ultimate sacrifice to save us. Even though we sometimes doubt that we're saved. <laughs> Glory to God. And you know, the, 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 the enemy is so cunning. Praise God. I can't remember him telling me that I was not saved when I was not saved. <laughs> Glory to God. Never tried to remind me that I was lost, that I wasn't saved. But when the Lord saved me, Praise God. Seemed like his constant refrain was, you ain't saved. <laughs> Praise God. You ain't really saved. Praise God. And when he attacks like that, praise God, it's not just that we hear it, but he's attacking our faith. Praise God. And believe it or not, he's attacking your lifeline because your faith is that lifeline. Glory to God because he that cometh 
to God. You, you, you got to have faith. You, you, you've got to believe one that he is. Glory to God. And two that he's a rewarder and he's going to reward you. Glory to God. With all that you've done, all that you know that you've done that's wrong, he's going to reward you. <laughs> Glory to God because he loves you. We battle in the realm of faith. Yes, sir. Glory to God. And that's why the Lord gave a perfect sacrifice. Glory to God. He actually shed his own blood. Yeah. Glory to God, every drop that dropped on the altar, praise God, was to cleanse us. Ah, glory to God, praise God, because you couldn't cleanse yourself. Praise God, the stuff that we were into was so damaging that there was nothing we could do to clean ourselves up. Glory to God. But I hear the word of God saying, but he was wounded for my transgression. Glory to God. He was bruised. He allowed himself to be beat. Glory to God for me. So instead of me having to be beat to be saved, praise God, he took my beating for me. And the chastisement of my peace was laid on him. Glory to God. And with every stripe, healed. Praise God. And we got to kick that faith in to believe that we are healed. Glory to God. So, amen. It takes something for us to lay on our sick bed and the doctor say, well, you might not get well. Praise God. And we start telling jokes so that folk can laugh. Y'all ain't hearing me. Because laughter is like a God medicine. And glory to God. It's, it's, it's like those shots that they give you that you hope work. Praise God, amen. Those laughters that you, amen, are able to engage in, they really work. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, amen, we've got to get our faith together. And part of the way of getting our faith together is to believe that the blood that Jesus shed Praise God is healing and delivering for me. Yeah. Praise God. And, 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 and so the enemy attacks. Praise God. Even our thought process. There is no way he tells us that the wine that we drink or the grape juice that we drink yeah. is a substitute for what the Lord did on the cross. Glory to God. Amen. And if the Lord had not showed us, we might believe that. Praise God. But he showed us, praise God, that you can't trust what people think they know. Praise God. Because uh, Mary told the servants, whatever he tell you, do that. He said, pour water in the jar. Fill it up. Praise God. Now, dig into the jar and don't stop. Praise God with none of the low folk. Go straight to the governor. Praise God. And the governor, when he tasted the water, praise God, said, man, what you up to? Most folk put out the best at first, let you get drunk, then they put out the wasting stuff. But you, 
praise God, you have held the best till the end. Yes, sir. Yes. Praise God. What's your secret? What's your mindset that yeah. would make you do that? Yeah. Praise God. The Lord wanted us to know, praise God, that if he could turn water into wine, uh-huh. he could turn a man wine into his blood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. It don't have to taste like blood. Praise God. It don't have to, amen, uh, have those qualities that we look for. Yeah, amen. It, it, we, we just need to know that the Lord said it. Yes, sir. Praise God. And by my action, yeah. I'm showing I believe him. Amen. Praise God. And that puts me in fellowship with him. And that's how we get miracles. That's how we get breakthrough. Praise God. Uh, see, the enemy tries to, amen, play in our mind. Praise God. He tries to make us doubt. Praise God. Um, it's nothing new for him. He started that in the garden. Glory to God. And it will go through, amen, until the Lord binds him and throws him in the pit. Glory to God. But we can't move with him. Amen. Praise God. We've got to stay with God. Yes. Praise God. Moses, Pharaoh is not going to hearken to you. Praise God. Because he doesn't believe you. Yes. Praise God. But there is a plan already at work. And what I need you to do is work with the plan. So come on and tell Israel, 10th day of the month, gather their lambs. Glory to God. Let those lambs, amen, stay in the stall until the 14th day of the month. Why? Praise God. Moses didn't ask, but I think Praise God, it was to make sure that there were no spots, no blemishes. You didn't pick one that, praise God, was showing signs and now those signs have come to, signs have come to fruition. Praise God. But at that 14th day in the evening, amen, every home in Israel is going to be delivered. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Was there any deliverance that night? Praise God. Uh, I uh, submit to you that the deliverance happened right then. Praise God. When they believed God and made their sacrifice, their deliverance happened. Glory to God. And the Lord was so gracious. He said, when you sacrifice and when you make it ready, don't do it in your pajamas. Praise God. Do it in your clothes. Shoes on your feet. Staff already ready. Praise God. Because I know, amen, Pharaoh didn't want to let you go. But when I finish with him, <laughs> he's going to not only let you go, but he's going to throw you out. Praise God. He's going to make sure you understand. I don't want you here. Get out. Move as quick as you can go. Get away from us because, amen, having you around is a plague. Praise God. And saints of God ought to be a plague to the devil and his devices. Glory to God. He ought to not want us around. Praise God. And if he wants us around, he obviously thinks we are good for him. My mic ain't working. My mic ain't working. Preaching hard. Glory to God. Amen. And it is those folk that have not immersed themselves in the Lord. Praise God to understand that God does not work like everybody else. 
Praise God. God works a man in the way that he works. And we've got to trust him. We can't go by how it looks. Glory to God. We can't go by even how we feel. Praise God. We've got to take him at his word. God said it. Praise God. And that's why I'm operating like this. God said it. That's why I'm trusting him. Glory to God. No, I don't see nothing. Praise God. But I trust the God that spoke it. And I'm going to move in it. Oh, come on, tap your neighbor. Praise God. Give them a smile and tell them, say, the blood still works. Uh, 2,000 years later, the blood still works. Glory to God. And we can apply it. And you don't have to fully understand the plan. Praise God. My lady and I, uh, we spent, uh, we, we did this trip real quick to uh, do ministry and, you know, just, just kind of talking back and forth. Amen. Um, when you think about how God works, praise God, he works. Yet he still loves us. Amen. To allow us into his work. Glory to God. But we've got to be willing to, to see that it's his work. Praise God. And a lot of times we don't trust his work. Amen. We listen to what others tell us. Amen. When Jesus cautioned us not to do that. When did he do that, Pastor? I don't remember. When Jairus folk came from his house, a man said, Look, Jay, you, you don't have to trouble the master. She's already dead. Yeah. Praise God. Jesus said, don't, don't pay attention to them. Right, right, right. If you just believe. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Yeah. Praise God. Your daughter's going to live. Yeah. Praise God. Now, Jairus had a choice. Praise God. And the choice is one that we keep talking to each other about. Uh -huh. Whose report? Hey. Are you going to believe? Right, right. Uh, come on, let's talk to our neighbors. Praise God. Neighbors who report. Are you going to believe? Praise God. Come on, one more time. Hey, neighbor. Whose report are you going to believe? Why are you having us say it over and over again? Well, from my teaching experience, the more you speak it, the more it gets in your spirit. And the more you can call it up later on when the test comes. Uh, Y'all ain't going to help me. The problem with passing the test is your study. Praise God. If you don't study, you're not going to pass. Praise God. Because you have not rehearsed the stuff that you were taught. Praise God. So the Lord wants to know, do you want to pass your test? Praise God. Our answer to him is yes. Praise God. Then you're going to have to study. Praise God. And the best study practice is um, to repeat. Praise God. Over and over until it's in your spirit. Praise God. And it is a part of your habit. Uh, glory to God. Because when it's a part of your habit, praise God, it just comes automatically without you thinking about it. Praise God. So come on, ask your neighbor just one more time. Say, hey, neighbor, whose report are you going to believe? Praise God. We, 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 we've got to get to a place, praise God, where we just believe the Lord. Praise God. We trust him with our lives. Amen. And uh, we see examples of him requesting. And I know, amen, in our mindset right now, we are not with, amen, where Abraham was. Yeah. Praise God. But the Lord said to Abraham, uh, do you love me? Praise God. Yeah. And sure, Lord, you know I love you. Then I want you to take your son. Yeah. Your only son. Praise God. And I'm going to show you where. 
Amen. You're going to be walking and thinking about it. You're going to be studying on it. Praise God. About three days from now, you'll hit the spot. And I want you to sacrifice that boy. Praise God. Now, if that was us, amen, and I think I'm speaking for most of you, amen, we would fail that test. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, we, we just can't conceive right. that God would ask such a hard thing. Yes, sir. Praise God. And so we would say something like, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Yes, sir. Yes. Praise God. That can't be God because, amen, God wouldn't ask for anything like that. Yes. And you know what I find is the folk who challenge us use those exact words. Praise God. They tell us, amen, a truly loving God, praise God, wouldn't want us to be without love. Praise God. So, amen, if I have to love somebody that God said don't love, God understands. Praise God. No, God doesn't understand. What the Lord wants to know is whose report yes, are you going to believe? Yes. Praise God. And if you believe his report, praise God, then you're going to do what he commands. Yes. Praise God. And it's, it's, it's hard for us to conceive of it. Praise God. Because we are always thinking with our human mind. Yes. Amen. But we've got to go a little deeper than that human mind. We've got to call on, amen, the mind of Christ. Amen. He, he put a mind in us. He put a spot in every one of us, even the ones that have not accepted him. There is a spot that is carved out that nothing else fits but Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And when we tap into that spot, when we put Jesus in that spot, yeah. praise God, our mind shifts. Our thoughts change. Praise God. And we look very peculiar to people, but very familiar to God. Praise God. We look strange to to them. Yeah. Praise God. But we look normal to him. Amen. Praise God. And so we don't even have to try to talk with folk to get, amen, their thoughts or give them ours. Amen. If you think there's something wrong with me, put me on the Isle of Patmos. Praise God. And what you're going to see is God is going to talk to me. Glory to God. And not only is he going to talk to me, but the fellowship is going to be so good, he's going to present a door in heaven. Glory to God. He's going to open that door and invite me up to come and see more things. Praise God. The more I'm in his presence, the more I want to see. The more I want to know him. Praise God. I, I want to know him in the fellowship of him. Is suffer. Oh, I thought I was in an apostolic church. Glory to God. Because we want Him to do things, praise God, that are not normal. We want Him to, amen, reverse time. Uh, we, we want him to, amen, deliver our loved ones. Yes. Praise God. We want, we want him, praise God, to change the healing. Although we know now we're at the stage where you're supposed to die. Yes. Praise God. We want him to do all of that. Yep. But we don't want to recognize Praise God that the same way we want him to do, right. he wants us to do. He, he wants us to name him and claim him. Praise God and be willing to bless him. Praise God, willing to surrender our lives. Praise God for him. 
Amen. Praise God. God is so mindful. Uh, he says to the children of Israel, if your house is too small, praise God, uh, get, get with your neighbor who also has a small house and y'all can make a normal house. Amen. And you can come into my presence like that. Glory to God. And your lamb, praise God, shall be without blemish. It shall be a male of the first year and you shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Praise God. They keep telling us, praise God, uh, that you can't label God a man. God labeled himself a man. Glory to God. And we can't change that because we want things to be our way. Praise God. And so most of our struggle, amen, is man's mindset challenging God's plan. Praise God. And we've got to decide we're going to go with God's plan. Uh, We've got to decide that the blood still works. Oh, come on. Just one time. Tap a neighbor and tell him the blood still works. Glory to God. Amen. The same stuff. Amen. That worked for Moses and the children of Israel. Praise God. It works for us. Amen. We don't have to cut up turtle doves and bulls and lambs and goats. Glory to God. Because the God that we serve. Praise God. He made the ultimate sacrifice. Praise God. One time. He stepped into the holy of holies. Glory to God. And it is amazing. Praise God. One God. Praise God. Stepped in to the holy of holies. Praise God. And he was the high priest. Glory to God. He was the lamb of sacrifice. Praise God. He gave his own blood. Glory to God. And presented it before the king that was sitting on the throne. That was him. Glory to God. He did all of that to deliver us. And I'm just surprised that we are not blown away. Praise God with all the sacrifice he made to bless us. Praise God. And we still are asking him to prove himself. Lord, put out a fleece and could work on the fleece this way and, and turn and do it this way. And, and I'm still not sure that that's really you. Praise God. But if our faith was working, glory to God, we wouldn't have to go through through 10 gyrations. Praise God. We would trust God when he said, I'm working in your behalf. Glory to God. And even if you have to cry, glory to God, you know he's still working in your behalf. Glory to God. If you've got to cut some folk out of your life, praise God, you know he's working on your behalf. Glory to God. And too many of us the sacrifice that we think God is asking for seems to be too much. Praise God, but we want him to work for us. Praise God, but we're not willing to work for him. Glory to God, but I dare you to just put your head back and tell him, Lord, have your way in my life. And whatever I have to do, I'm willing to do it because you are my God. Glory to God. You are my friend. You shed your blood for my life and I bless you. Glory to God. And you know, I used to, amen, get all excited, praise God, just at the thought, praise God, of what God has done for me. Praise God. But now I'm at the place where I want the people of God to be able to just bless him for what he has already 
already done in our lives. Glory to God. We haven't made heaven yet, but we are claiming salvation. Glory to God. We have not seen, amen, the pearly gates, but we are believing that we are on our way in. Praise God. That deserves a praise. Glory to God. I heard the songwriter when he said, praise God, a awesome God, a man deserves an awesome praise. I dare you just to get up on your feet, throw your head back, think about his goodness, glory to God, think about where he brought you from, think about the door that he opened, the way that he made, the blessing that he's put in your life. And while you're thinking, you ought to bless him. You ought to praise him. You ought to magnify him. You ought to appreciate that the blood that he shed way back on Calvary, the blood that he applied to our lives is still working is still keeping uh, is still delivering uh, and we owe him uh, a praise from way down on the inside uh, come on let's give him uh, our best praise hey, God the blood it still works <laughs> and if we believe it hallelujah if we believe it praise God we see things working we accept what he's done we bless him because he has been so good ah Glory, glory, glory. Ah. God bless you. You may take your seats. Want to tell you a quick, amen, little antidote. Praise God. Had a speech therapist because, as you know, I have a hole in my esophagus. Praise God. And so there are just certain notes that I can't hit. Glory to God. And I can't talk but so long. Amen. And I got to keep my throat, praise God, uh, liquefied so that, amen, I can talk and it doesn't go up and down. Praise God. Sitting in the sanctuary uh, just the other night. Glory to God. Amen. Singing, and I hit some notes that I wasn't able to hit before. Glory to God. What's, I mean, that, 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 ain't, that ain't nothing or uh, all that. Yes, it is. Praise God. Because I haven't been doing the exercises that I should have been doing. Y'all ain't going to help me. The doctor said if you want to get your voice back, if you want that hole to close up, you got to get an operation or you're going to have to do these exercises multiple times a day. Y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God. And I just didn't have the time for that. My lady was a, amen, a cheerleader. Are you doing you? Are you doing you? Are you doing you? Are you doing you? Praise God. And I bless God for it because that's an encouragement. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God. But I just didn't do it. And all of a sudden, praise God, I'm singing on a level. Praise God that I wasn't singing on before I got the hole in my, y'all ain't hearing me. Praise God. And so what I think he was trying to tell me, praise God, is when the doctor don't do it, I can. Huh? Glory to God. Glory! When who you depended on can't do it, I can. I can work it out. I can make a way. I just need you to trust me. 
Ah, 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 ah. And you know, I hear you, and I'm going to stop right here. I hear you. Praise God. You, you, you say he's doing that for you. But I've tried stuff like that, and it didn't work. Praise God. I'm coming to tell you, I don't know what mindset you tried it in. Praise God. But I do know he can do it. Praise God, whether you trust him or not. He can make a way. Praise God. And if he just wants to bless me and not you, you, you are not going to stop me from trusting him because he's not working the way you want him to. Praise God. That seems to be folks' problem. When, when I can't get it like I want, you shouldn't have it like he's doing it for you. But I come to tell you, praise God, if he's on your side, praise God, he gives you something called favor. Tap a neighbor and just call favor. And you need to understand, praise God, favor does not go to everybody. And it is not fair. Praise God. I know in school, everybody gets a trophy. But in God, not everybody gets favor. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. And if he is giving it to you, you ought to bless him for it. And don't let anybody talk you out of walking in your favor because they don't have any. Glory to God. That's the easiest way to lose your blessing because you don't appreciate that he loves you enough to do something for you that he's not doing for somebody else. I'm done. I'm finished. Praise God. And I know, you know, just a simple example popped in my head. Praise God. There were two thieves that were hung around Jesus. Praise God. They both were talking. Praise God. But he only turned to one and said, today, y'all ain't going to help me. Glory to God. Now, I know the other one is probably thinking, well, look, if you're going to do that for him, you can do it. And he probably could have, but he didn't give him the favor. Glory to God. He gave the favor to the one that he wanted to have the favor. If anybody is going to get favor from God, I'm asking God, let it be. Y'all ain't. See? Y'all are ashamed to even say that. Praise God. But if you want the favor, you need to ask him for the favor. You need to open your mouth and just go on and say, Lord, if you're going to favor anybody, if you're going to favor anybody, favor me. Glory to God. Have your way. Get the glory. Come on, clap those hands and give him praise. In the name. In the name. Glory to God. I bless the Lord because he is that good. Uh, hallelujah. He is that good. Praise God. And praise God. You know, we sit around and let others praise because we are so dignified and sophisticated. Praise God. But if you want him to work in your life, sometimes you got to let him know. Praise God. Amen. It's me over here. Glory to God. And, 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 and when you indicate, amen, it's like being out on an island and the plane flying over. You can't be down there just saying, uh, I'm down here. Praise God. Uh, you know, plane stop by. Amen. You, you, you got to wave your hands. You got to move around. You got to show a contrast so they can see you in trouble. Y'all ain't hearing me. 
praise God, I dare you, if you even think you in trouble, just go ahead and give him a praise real quick. Glory to God. Hey, here I am. Here I am. I'm right, I'm right here. Ah, glory to God. I need, I need, I won't. Can you help me right here? Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, bless his name. God bless you. Is there one today outside of the ark of safety? Praise God. Tired up and down, in and out. Lord, here I am. Praise God. If you're here, won't you come? Amen. We invite you. Pray with you. Pray for you. Amen. Believe in God because he is a good God. Amen. And, and, and don't fool yourself. Amen. All of us need him. Praise God. But he's dealing with each one of us differently. 